Well, welcome back in. Well, as you guys know, every Sunday night on this show, we like to feature local athletes and coaches to celebrate their achievements in their respective sport. But we're going to switch things up a little bit tonight. Instead of celebrating stats and championships, we're going to celebrate what one particular athlete accomplished inside the classroom. So with no further ado, we are delighted to be joined by John Tyler football player and valedictorian of his senior class, the one, the only mystery, Emmanuel Daniels. Thank you so much for being here tonight, man. No problem. How you doing? I'm good. You good? I'm, I'm good. good too. So happy for you to be here. So let's just get straight into it. You know, you capped your senior year off by not only lettering in football, but by also being named the valedictorian. That's, that's, that's just amazing. How were you able to effectively balance being a student and an athlete? Oh, first of all, this is, is not easy at all. <laughs> uh, sometimes you have to pull all-nighters. Sometimes you have to study. Sometimes you come to practice tired. But um, it's just something you just have to do. You know, it's, it's really, some people ask, is there a certain balance? Is there really not a certain balance? You just have to maneuver around, be flexible enough. Well, it's a maneuver you definitely figured out. Yeah, it's flexible. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, unfortunately, there's this stigma about football players, uh, particularly, that they are dumb jocks. I mean, that's, that's, unfortunately, that's just one of the things that goes around. But you completely proved that stigma false. Why was it so important for you to focus on academics and make that a priority? Uh, mostly because everybody didn't expect it. When you hear a lot of people talk about it, it's, it's not normal for uh, sports you know, athletes to uh, do well in school. I was like, well, I'm, I don't like being a part of the norm. I like to set my own stats, set my own trends. You know, I'm not a part of the normal people. So I, just want, I like to prove people wrong. I like that, man. Proving all the doubters, <laughs> naysayers, and haters wrong. Why try to fit in when you were born to stand out? Now, you know, interesting enough, you just graduated. So what advice would you give to young high school athletes, maybe people coming into high school that do want to do sports and excel academically? Um, what kinds of advice would you give them to balance that? Uh, like I said, it's not hard. So trying to figure out the perfect balance, I would say don't do, just do it. You know, like Nike, be like Nike, just do it. Because the, the time you try to think about it is time you could use to actually get ahead in class or get ahead on the field or in your sport. So just don't hesitate, don't contemplate, just do it. Just do it, I love that. Uh, also, I understand you're going to Texas A&M in the fall. Why, why Aggies? Uh, I just, I love the, I love the campus when I took um, when I took my visits. I love the campus. I love their um, their code of honor because I'm really big on uh, ethics and I love their code of honor and I love their uh, program. They have a lot of nice people, a lot that of cool works. people. Yeah. Amen. All right, now we're limited <laughs> on time, so we're going to end this interview with a game I call Five of Thirty. I end every interview with that game. You have thirty seconds to answer five questions. Ready to do this? All right. All right, let's go. First question: Favorite video game to play? Assassin's Creed. Okay. Secret <laughs> talent that you have? I'm super sarcastic. Love it. <laughs> Greatest of all time, LeBron or Jordan? Jordan. All right. Last movie you saw? Incredibles 2. Okay. Now, also, you and your sister were both valedictorians in high school. Which one of you is smarter? Uh, I think she would tell you and I would tell you it's me. It's me. <laughs> Love your confidence, man. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, just do it. Well, thank you so much for being here. We are definitely out of time, but we really appreciate it. I didn't have time to say this, but he's also a future surgeon as well. So you're yep. going to do some amazing things. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll be looking out for you. All right, that's all we got. JJ, back over to you, my friend. Awesome.